Welcome to part one on my AUM MIDI routing series. In this part, I'm going to show you how I connect the MIDI controllers, such as the MIDI keyboard or the Launchpad Pro, to control synths uh, inside AUM. This is different from controlling parameters in AUM, such as volume or audio unit effects parameter. This is only for controlling sounds of synths inside AUM. The first thing I'm going to do is to, you need to make sure that your controllers are connected, hooked up to the, to the iPad. So I have the Launchpad hooked up there and the Mini Brute, Micro Brute, sorry. Uh, hooked up to the iPad. Now what we're going to do is going to load up a synth, an auto unit synth. I want to use Tynes as my first synth. Now to control the sound in AUM, we can use uh, physical controllers such as this two I have here, or you can use the keyboard inside AUM. To, show, to, to select what you're going to control tines with, what we need to do is click on the three lines next to the uh, synth that you want to control, and then you have all the devices you have that, that can control it. Uh, as you can see here, you have the keyboard. Um, so if we uh, load up the keyboard, we can control the sound like that. Or uh, we have a lot of other uh, devices to control that. Uh, right now, as you can see, the Launchpad Pro shows up as three different ports on AUM. That's because the Launchpad Pro has like a special dedicated port to, to be used with Ableton Live and also for physical, sending physical media out. Uh, so to use it in AUM, we have to select the Launchpad Pro uh, standalone port. I'm going to deselect the keyboard so the keyboard doesn't um, send notes to tines in this case. So I'm controlling tines just with my Launchpad Pro. What I'm going to do now is to load another synth. I'm going to use mood, I guess, or mode. I'm going to say mood. But anyway, I'm going to use, um, well, I'm, I loaded that one up. And I'm also going to use the Launchpad Pro standalone port to control it. So basically what we did there is we're la layering. We're layering both sounds, the sound from Tynes and from Mood. If your controller, like in this case, the Launchpad Pro, can send uh, MIDI to different channels, you can do this. Uh, so to select different channels on the Launchpad Pro, I have to click this, well, to press this button, the setup button, and each of these uh, buttons selects, well, each of these is the MIDI channel. This is one two, through eight and eight, nine through 16. So uh, I can choose what channel is going to uh, send MIDI to. If you don't want to layer sounds and your controller allows to choose different channels, what you can do is select a different channel for each synth. In this case, I'm going to use channel one for tines. And um, to do that, I'm going to click here on none and then channel one. So now I have that a synth is only receiving MIDI from channel one. Uh, and then uh, go to mood and choose channel two for that synth. So that's just times. If I choose channel two on my Launchpad Pro, I'm controlling just mood. So that way you can, for example, I could control tines and uh, let's load up another synth, tines and pads. 
on channel one of the Launchpad Pro standalone port. Uh, we have to so we have those two sounds layered. And uh, layer another synth. Let's use point two. By the way, um, I'm using channel five as a master channel to record everything that's um, all, all that's happening here in AUM. Uh, if you want to see how you can do that, I recommend that you watch the Audio Dabbler's video on, I think he, he talks about that, the master channel, and he also has uh, bus and pre um, fader and post fader uh, sense, something like that. He, he's really good. But anyway, so now we have Quant there, and uh, I'm going to choose. Uh, my bubbly guitar patch there and I'm going to choose uh, the launchpad port there on channel 2 now, good and if I choose channel 2 we have those two sounds layered like that right so that way you can choose different sounds just by selecting what channel um, your controller is sending MIDI to. It sometimes is not that that easy in other controllers. Uh, you should check your controller's manual to see how you can do that, how you can change what channel uh, or how you can assign what channels to send MIDI to. The microbrood as it is, I don't think I have any way to change what channel I'm sending um, MIDI to. So let's see. I'm going to choose for tie-ins. Now I'm going to choose the micro brute to control it. I'm sorry. So I'm controlling tie-ins with the micro brute. Uh, now let me check if I change the channel. Yeah, it's only sending. It's only sending MIDI to channel one. And um, so now if I go back to um, to the Launchpad Pro on channel one, I only have um, the pad sound coming there. And now I have the tying sound controlled by the micro brute. And um, so you can have different, you can have many different, as many as you can connect to your iPad uh, MIDI controllers, controlling different things, different sense inside AUM. Okay. Now I'm going to use a interrupt audio. I'm going to change mood for Animog. Uh, that's an interrupt audio. Okay. And I'm going to choose to control that with the micro root. Now, things could, when you're using interrupt audio, things could get a little confusing. Uh, interrupt audio, yeah. <laughs> IAA. Uh, when you're using uh, interrupt audio, things can get a little confusing because, uh, for example, if I choose, right now I'm, I'm controlling um, that with Animo with Microbrute, I'm going to change it to the Launchpad Pro. You can actually control it with both. So. I'm going to mute Ads, so we can 
With the micro brood right now, I'm uh, controlling uh, Tines and Animog. And with Launchpad Pro, I'm controlling Pads and Animal. So, watch what happens. I'm going to. Um, to select the Launchpad Pro from Pad, so I don't. I'm not. I'm just controlling the an Animo right now with the Launchpad Pro. But watch if I change the channel uh, that Animo is receiving from, and I'm going to choose channel two. Then I go to channel two in the Launchpad Pro. I just. I'm just controlling Quanta right now. Now if I deselect if okay the launchpad pro from quanta there is nothing right there even though i i um told it specifically to control animo it's not doing anything that's because when you have interrupt audio in your application um they have different setup for 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 their midi so for example as you can see right here uh, animo is just receiving midi from channel one so if I change that to channel two, now I can control it. So you need to um, be aware of that too, that the um, interrupt audio applications uh, also have their own MIDI setup thing. That uh, was very confusing for me, for example, when I started using this. And one of the reasons that I found this very confusing is that for example, uh, so in the setup, the MIDI setup for interrupt audio apps, you can also choose the controller. So let's say, even though I don't have the, right now, I'm controlling Animog on channel two with my Launchpad Pro. So even if I'm not telling AUM to control it with a micro brute, but if I choose a micro brute and then channel one, I can also control Animo with the micro brute. And some interop audio apps are as a default, they when you load them up, they receive MIDI from all devices connected to the iPad and from all channels. That's why I was confused like with these interop audio apps that as a default get MIDI from all devices connected and from all the controllers plug to the iPad <clears throat> on all channels because like I didn't know where what I was doing wrong in AUM I was only like let me show you AUM is only telling Animo to get to receive MIDI from the Launchpad Pro on channel 2 but even if I try to do that it doesn't happen because in the app, I told it to receive MIDI from channel one from the micro root. And that was very confusing for me. Okay, and one last thing I want to add is that um, sometimes, um, I don't remember specifically why, but one of my controllers uh, got turned off and uh, it stopped controlling, so. So what happened to me was that I was controlling, I was using an Axiom Pro and the Axiom Pro got turned off and then um, I wanted to keep on playing on the instrument and as you can see, it's not controlling it anymore. You have to go back to these three lines and choose the port or the USB, the MIDI controller that's going to control it. So I decided to use Audio Boss 3 uh, to avoid that. Um, Mitch from the Audio Dabbler has another really good video on how you can, uh, on why you would use both Audio Boss and uh, AUM or um, um and basically, he, he talks about uh, a case of using Loopy, which I, uh, I do. I, 
use Loopy a lot, and so I have to use Adibus two, um, Adibus three too. But uh, in this case, also using Adibus can help you. Uh, so let me show you. I loaded, I opened Adibus. This is the new the update. Uh, so I, you click on MIDI. Adibus, I'm talking about Adibus 3. This works only Adibus 3. I don't think Adibus 2 has this option of MIDI. So, uh, and I click on input and choose the Launchpad, Launchpad Pro stand and stand alone port. Why is that so hard for me to say? And then um, for the out or the receiver, I would choose AUM. Let's choose port. I th let's use port one since nothing else is. Sometimes when I use uh, Audibus and I um, and ARM together, and I use Loopy, and Loopy is already using one of these ports, so I can't use uh, the Launchpad Pro with that same port. But right now, since nothing else is uh, connected uh, from Audibus to AUM, this should work. So, um, let's see. Okay, now I turn that off. Oh, it's not sending anything. But if you choose the port uh, one in um, the IAA port one, that's the one that Audibus is sending MIDI to. So now you can control it. And even if you tr if for some reason the controller gets turned off or you turn it off, you're still controlling uh, that synth in there. And um, yeah, so that was very useful for me. I hope someone else finds, finds this information useful. And thank you very much for watching. This was part one on this series.